Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. The folks at Pilgrim have just announced 3D Code 2022. Now, before we get into all of the cool updates and features that is now available, I did get in touch with the folks at 3D Code and mention some of the things that you guys have been worried about. The whole restriction of how not to use 3D Code for making some fantasy imaginary art and they did clarify some things and they went ahead to say that the idea of restricted use is no hold up for artists wishing to use 3D Code as a tool for creating fantasy, gothic, imaginary or any form of art as 3D Code is created for everyone regardless of race, gender, religion or tribe. The whole idea of creating religious stuff was a core value of them previously but at the same time it does not in any way infringe or limit creators from making whatever they want to make with this evergreen tool of theirs. So if you've been thinking about getting into 3D Code and probably you've just been thinking about a restriction right now you are at liberty to use 3D Code to create anything that you want and I think at this point artists can leverage off all of the powerful features that is now available in 3D code and start exploring stuff that is way more than just hard surfaces and angels. And with that said, let's get into the new features that is now available in 3D code 2022. One of the very cool features in 3D Code 2022 is the auto retopology that has been improved. Now this brings better quality for both organic and hard surface models and with the kind of examples that we are seeing right here, one can only wish that most 3D apps that exist does have features like this by default. And this isn't the only thing, there is also a faster voxel and surface sculpting that now allows you to sculpt millions and millions of triangles and the new voxel brush engine now even makes the whole idea of sculpting feel way more closer to real world than digital sculpting. And this in turn will increase how artists will interact with their digital clay and this brings way more performance and of course would allow artists work with bigger and complex models. There is also a new alpha collection for those who want to create complex surfaces and reliefs. The node system for shaders has a huge set of improvements for creating complex shaders and textures, which by default most people will not be able to make in 3D code as most times you might have to export your model from 3D code to do some shading work and probably big textures and bring them back. Right now, the folks at 3D Code are trying to limit the number of travel time between 3D apps and get their job done directly in 3D Code. The Bevelin tool is also a brand new update that is now available as this tool works with both edges and corners on your model to give that sweet sweet bevel that you will always want to get. And it just makes sense to know that with the bevel tool, you can actually layer your curves however you want and get something working for you. And while we speak about curves, there is a new curve tool. Now with the brand new principles of creating low poly models and the easy usability for incredible performance, creating very complex objects will look like an easy breeze while working with the brand new curve tool. There's also the export.gltf format that is now available for interchangeability between DCC apps and also online tools. And this is also a very welcome improvement for those who like to export their 3D code models as .gltf format. And for anyone who is looking at getting a deeper dive into 3D codes, the new core API now provides deeper access to 3D codes core at the full native C++ speed. So for users who are looking forward to customize, enhance, or simply build more functionalities around 3D code, this access is one feature that folks at 3D code are referring to bringing 3D code a step closer to being a semi open source tool. And all of these cool features are extremely impressive. So for those who are looking for a 3D sculpting tool that offers voxel and surface sculpting, polygonal and curve modeling, quick and robust retopology tools, UDIMs, PTEX texturing, smart materials, standard and procedural texturing alongside with a beautiful rendering engine, then 3D Codes is your sure tool of choice that you might want to consider checking out. It's also worth mentioning that the folks at Pilgrim does have an extra tool called a 3D Code Texturer, which is more of a fleshed out version of 3D Code that is simply targeted to 3D texturing. So if you're looking for a 3D texturing tool that also comes with a rendering engine that can allow you to do both procedural and standard texturing exactly how you can get these things done in 3D Code, you can of course go ahead and check out 3D Code Texturer with the links in the description. So. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and for those who have been thinking about working with 3D code and you've been restricted by that clause of not using it to create some imaginary characters, that clause no longer holds you bound as you can now create things however you want. And of course, for those who are thinking about getting some percentage of once they make a purchase, links to that is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.